Hello, everyone. Welcome to JSA TV and JSA Podcasts, where we're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations from leaders in the digital infrastructure industry. I'm very excited to interview uh, Ross Hopel from Krona for the very first time on JSA TV today. Uh, Krona is an instrument manufacturer that's entering the data center market. So thanks for joining us today, Ross. Thanks for having me, Candace. Really looking forward to this. Absolutely. Same here. So let's dive right in. So Krona, it might be new to the data center industry, but definitely is not a new company. You all have been have more than a century of experience in measurement solutions globally. So with that in mind, can you tell us a little bit about why you're entering the data center space? Well, Krona, like you mentioned, is a is a roughly 100 year old company, and we've been you know classically involved in the industrial measurement um, technology sector um, that's focusing on things like uh, oil and gas and uh, power generation, food and beverage. And uh, the data center industry obviously is uh, exploding right now. And so we're keenly interested in participating in this opportunity. Uh, and for, you know, obviously a whole host of reasons that are financial, but also because we're excited about being technologists. We love building full measurement technologies and other process measurement technologies. And we feel like this industry is a place where we kind of bridge the gap to the new AI frontier. And we're, we're excited to be a part of that. It's something that's uh, very different and unique. Um, we as a company are capable of supporting a whole host of opportunities inside the space. Uh, obviously, we've got multiple different segments inside a data center, and, and uh, we're prepared to be uh, supporting that business as it grows. Incredible. Bridge the gap to the new AI frontier. I love that phrasing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. OK, so can you? give our viewers um, and those who are listening in on the podcast a little bit of background on the product line that you all have. So what are the benefits of Krona's industrial grade products in critical cooling environments? What makes them a superior choice compared to the more typical commercial grade components that you usually see in a data center environment? Yeah, so in Krona, we, we've, uh, we make difficult measurements. Uh, but, you know, we, we kind of, as we're talking to customers and and uh, opportunities with different people in the industry. We're, we're saying that water at 70 degrees is a pretty simple measurement in general terms. We're used to measuring um, chemicals and oil and gas and things that, that can go boom and there's all sorts of issues associated with those measurements. So this is a pretty straightforward measurement from the application perspective, but it's, it makes us perfect for developing uh, technology for the mission critical space. I mean, mission critical by its very terminology is something that's super important and we build industrially hardened devices, things that are meant to go in spaces that really most people don't even want to be. And that's why they make a measurement there. So we've got this opportunity to change the way we look at uh, or, or get people to understand and change the way they look at these measurements. Instead of it being a commercial grade measurement technologies, it's something that's based on a really tough industrial environment. Um, with that comes a pedigree and the pedigree starts from you know, the manufacturing of, of these technologies. And uh, we, we run them through rigorous testing, uh, calibrations that, that uh, associate them back to a known standard. And uh, those are the things that we can carry through. So if you buy a device from us, it, you know, it's born reliable and it's built to last. And that's the kind of stuff that we like to be able to do. And we want to get into this space and prove to people that we can be there and solve problems with repeatability and reliability, of, uh, efficiency, and all those kinds of measurements are really important for us. Absolutely. I love that. Born reliable and built to last. Um, so back to that AI frontier that you were talking about. So Chrono yeah, right. has expressed commitment to supporting the rapid expansion of U.S. data centers to help America take the AI lead. I think everybody watching this will, uh, will yeah. be familiar with what's going on. How does Chrono plan to achieve that quite big commitment? Well, Chrono is a, is a large company with, uh, you know, global manufacturing centers, you know, space all over Europe and South America. And we have the ability to manufacture a lot of equipment, just not only flow measurement technologies, but pressure, temperature, and some other measurements that could be used in data centers as well. Obviously flows the, the big one in the, in the data center space for us in, in the chilled water um, and the technical are on the IT side as well as on the chilled water side of the, um, the, the data centers. But, but we have this ability um, obviously to, um, feel comfortable with 
dedicating and allocating our uh, our production capacity to to serving this market. Again, they're relatively simple measurements for us to make, and uh, the meters tend to be very similar. So we have the ability to produce large quantities of those things. One of the other things that I think is pretty interesting, and we've done in other spaces and other industries, is uh, the the flow meters that we see today might not actually be the flow meters that um, are we actually going to end up using in the data center space when it comes to you know a year, eighteen months, two years. There's so much innovation happening that that we um, we have the and we have the ability as a company to innovate to to solve a problem. A flow measurement solution is an example uh, inside the rack. Like who's how are we measuring a flow of a liquid through through the rack itself? If that requirement, if that flow requirement is is uh, is important, then we want to be able to be able to serve that space um, and and provide something that's unique to that opportunity. Um, it, it's it's the kind of thing that we do well, and that's that's what we're good at. So we're excited about jumping in and uh, dedicating, committing resources to being able to supply as demand requires. Um, and uh, to be able to innovate both our, you know, all of our technologies, but again, primarily flow to take advantage of the space. Um, one of the things that we keep hearing from different partners in different places um, was it, as we ask them, hey, we're, we're Krona, we're new to the space. We'd like to get to know you guys. Is there an opportunity for us to sell you some, uh, some meters? People's first question is, isn't, well, what's your accuracy or what's, you know, all these different kind of technical questions that you would assume that people would ask the first question they ask us is can you deliver and uh the speed at which these data centers are being built obviously is is putting huge demands on infrastructure with you know other large pieces of capital equipment and we kind of fall in line with that as well so they can't actually start up a server room uh, or, or a data center itself without having a, you know these devices actually installed prior to putting the racks in so, so we're a part of that infrastructure that's going at, you know, at rocket ship speeds, you know, moving forward. And, and we've got to be able to, to meet that demand. So we understand all of that and we make commitments to that. Um, so along those lines, too, is, is understanding the applications, right? So not as it just, just, you know, from a production perspective, but we've decided that we're going to be putting together what we're referring to as a center of excellence. It's going to be based in our Beverly, Massachusetts facility, and we're going to bring together members of the industry that are people who would ultimately be consumers of the products that we're going to manufacture. So that would be actually the developers of the property. We've got the hyperscalers and the co-locator, co-locators. Um, we've got engineers, system integrators, different style OEMs, the OEMs that manufacture CDUs. They, you know, they have entirely different demands on what products they're manufacturing and if, whether they're going to measure pressure and flow and temperature in those spaces as well, um, you know, and uh, and obviously contractors. So all these different people who will be able to want to buy the equipment from us, we're going to bring those people together, and we're going to do our best to uh, put together best practices and understanding what the requirements are, what speed to market looks like, what technologies have to be used, what kind of communication protocols. Um, we're we're going to count on that team to be the people that we're using to help us you know, be the best we can be to support this mission critical industry. So, you know, this, the space in and of and by itself is, is so new and is so rapidly changing. I mean, one of the other questions that, that we keep asking is, so what's the standard? And everybody looks at us and says, we don't know. It's mm -hmm. moving, it's changing. And we know that the, there's different players in the industry that are, you know, three and four and five generations ahead of what you see in terms of a data center that's going to be manufactured today. But those same guys, you know, are asking for, for products to be de developed and built to solve a problem that maybe perhaps haven't been built today. So again, the center of excellence is going to be another one of those things that's going to be important for us to be able to, you know, be in service to this space. Um, and that's what we're doing, right? We're, we're, we're not the last thing that needs to happen, but if you think about what's the most important part of of a flow measurement is to make sure that those chips are getting cooled. At the end of the day, no matter how big and expansive the space is, um, from you know big chilled water plants that have large flow metering requirements to again all the way down to the server rack, ultimately that water is there or that fluid is there to cool the chip. And then what happens if the, the chip doesn't get cooled? I mean, that's the the cat the consequences are devastating. Um, and devastating to the tunes of millions of dollars. Now, if you lose a rack, 
you know, that's that's a lot of money. But, you know, what also happens happens then in terms of parallel processing? What are the what are the things that are going on associated with all of the demands on a data center at that point? So we want to make sure that you know, essentially what we're doing is we're providing an insurance policy to make sure that people are know that they have flow going to the chip and and, and the flow is being taken away. So um, the other thing that's interesting is, um, you know, we're seeing is there's uh, not a, not as much flow measurement as we thought there was going to be in some of these specific spaces. Um, people say, well, we can just make a pressure measurement. And we don't really need a flow because then we know there's flow. But this is all about information, right? So, I mean, we're, we're building data centers to, <laughs> to their AI data centers. They're all about producing information. And what we're trying to do is we want to make sure that people have the most information they can possibly have to make sure that they're making decisions and understanding what is going on with their systems. I know that there's lots of really interesting relationships that go between co-locators and their tenants, and we've got all sorts of issues that go along those lines. So we feel like uh, you know being a part of that solution in terms of making sure everybody knows that things are being taken care of well is, is going to be a really important part of what's happening as well. Excellent. Well, thank you so much. That That's a, a great note for us to wrap up on. And this is your official JSA TV welcome <laughs> to the day. Oh, thank you. Yes. That's yeah, cool. Um, yeah, thank you so much for joining us, uh, Ross. We've been seeing some of your headlines around the data center publications lately too. Um, so definitely yeah. a, a newer player that is making moves. Um, and yes, if, if this uh, uh, stream is your first introduction to Krona, do go check them out on kronausa.com. You can also get there by scanning um, that, that code that's in the top left of your screen right now. Uh, but check out their mission critical flow solutions. And uh, thank you so much, Ross, for joining us. Thank you, viewers, for hanging out with us here on JSA TV. Happy networking. Thank you.